Hi, I'm Krista with Playing With Purpose. During this morning's circle, we talked all about apple trees. I first set up a picnic blanket underneath our apple tree in the yard. This provided the perfect context to teach the children about apples and where apples come from. I brought out an apple and I read them some stories. I showed the children the little buds that were starting on the tree. When we were finished circle time, we went ahead inside and did an apple tree art activity. Let me show you what we did. When we got inside from circle, we made some apple trees. So to make these, I gave each child a blue sheet of construction paper, a half of a toilet paper roll. I went around and I taped the trunk to the blue construction paper. I allowed the children to scrunch up tiny pieces of green tissue paper. This is great fine motor practice. I also gave them some green construction paper leaves and some red pom-poms for the apples. After reading the stories, the children understood that the apples grew on the trees. This month we're talking all about plants and I've broken it down into four different topics and each week we're studying one of those topics. The first week we talked about seeds, the second week we talked about flowers, and this week we're talking about trees. The children understand that trees are also plants and the tree trunk is the stem of the tree. In the last week, we'll be studying garden and vegetables. Last week, we talked about parts of a plant and, we, and each one of those parts can be different. We talked about how leaves can be all different shapes and all different sizes. For circle time, we read, I love trees. And for a table time activity, we did a sorting activity with leaves. What they did was they sorted needle leaves and, and leaves and put it inside the other side. It's also great fine motor practice for the children. The little needles are actually really tricky to pick up and they really need to concentrate on their using their pincer grasp. We also talked about how in the springtime the leaves are just babies because the trees have just started to bud and we're going to continue to watch them as they grow. So we're going to keep a couple of them and compare them next week to see how much bigger they got. Another fun activity to do with the children is leaf rubbing. You just give them some leaves and I just cut up some small squares and I give them a crayon. I like to use the triangular crayons um, and it helps them to be able to rub it more easily. To do this, you place some leaves on the table You place your paper on top and then they hold the crayon and the children will then see the leaf come out onto their paper. I bought this book this year to add to our collection and it's a super cute story. It's a fantastic little story about the life cycle of a tree. It's interactive, so the children get to listen to the story and interact. It'll have simple instructions like tap the tree and turn the page and see what happens. And then a leaf appears. Tap again. One, two, three, four. And then there's four leaves on the page. It's a super cute story and it actually, it has how the leaves are green in the springtime. This one has little pink flowers into how the bees 
like the flowers on the trees. And then later in the fall, you'll see that some apples begin to grow. And in the fall, you'll start to see that the leaves are different colors. So it's a great little story. You can use this book during the fall or during your plant unit, or you can even pull it out for your insect unit. So we're gonna make a tree just like in the story. Ahead of time, I've printed out uh, a silhouette of a tree and we're gonna use bingo dabbers, but you could also use brown paint. And then we're, we're gonna sprinkle some coffee grounds on the wet paint to make it a little more textured, like a real tree trunk. So I let the children touch and feel the tree trunk so that they can see that it's not smooth and then we'll add a little bit of texture with the coffee grounds. I cut up some felt leaves, some light green and some dark green and I explained to the children that we're making spring trees. I've prepared one quickly and it'll look something like this and you can see that wherever the glue is thicker the coffee grounds stick to the paper. You can add a little bit of glue to make sure that the coffee grounds stick or depending on how much paint your children use, it'll stick to the paint as well. This is a fun snack idea to give the children. So what I like to do is give them some apple slices and these little maple leaf and we can talk about how maple trees give us maple syrup. It's not often that the children get treats in my daycare, so this is a special treat, and I'm hoping that they'll enjoy it. I'm Krista with Playing With a Purpose. I'll see you next time.